Well, this really should have been part one, but too late for that now for me, but maybe you can learn from my experiences and some gained wisdom and knowledge over the course of this project. If you have a high mileage Kia or anything else, aluminum block, and you have head gasket problems, for instance, mine has 250,000 miles, when I'm talking about high mileage. If it's, you know, really, you know, anything well over 100, and you've got head gasket problems, when it comes time to put the head back on, head heads, um, you are going to have stripped head bolt thread problems. It's going to happen. And I didn't find this out until just before I went to put uh, the heads on, as I mentioned in uh, earlier videos. Uh, and sure enough, you know, bam, I, I'm just one head, and that's why I just bailed and didn't do the didn't do the other one because honestly it would be like you know trying to rearrange the deck chairs on the titanic while it was sinking you know just it's just pointless um seven out of eight head bolts stripped and then i started doing more research and yeah it's just what they do so um you know, I was trying to get uh, <laughs> trying to get slick. I came across some info, uh, an, an article on a website, and <laughs> man, that thing needs to get pulled because it's just not going uh, to work. Uh, just simply, just the math of how much material you have to get rid of to get the insert in on the top of the block. You do the factory repair, the OEM approved repair, yeah, it'll work. That tool is expensive. You're going to spend over $500 new. Maybe you can find one used, but I've been looking, and folks have their used tools out there for almost as much as uh, a new one. And, you know, it just it just something you have to weigh and see if it makes uh, sense for you. But uh, yeah, back to the numbers don't lie. The, my uh, existing uh, hole is 469,000, and I'll show you on a, uh, a drawing here and on the actual block here in a second. Um, you got 272,000 uh, of width of, of uh, wall block it to water jacket thickness area the only available kit insert kit to work with that uh that hole because you're still gonna have to make that hole bigger um uh, as you saw in the last video i was trying to make something else work and there's just not enough it's just yeah it, it'll thread in there but there's just not enough meat when it's all said and done, you're just going to have to make those walls too thin. There's just not going to be enough there. It's not going to work. The only way to do this is the OEM approved method. Expensive tool, $500 ish. Um, and again, if you've got a lot of miles, I wouldn't, uh, I'd, I'd think real hard before you do it because you've got several hundred dollars of gaskets. You're going to want to replace the chains, the knock sensors do a bunch of other stuff, you know. Now, I did my own valve job on it, so, you know, that really cost me nothing. The valve seals came with the, you know, with the with the headset. Um, so, uh, you know, think real, real good and hard if you've got high mileage and head gasket problems because you're going to have head bolt problems too. And just, just really put a lot of thought into that if it's worth it to fix it or not so let me grab the camera and we'll take a look inside at the uh at the dimensions i've got a drawing uh and uh you know go from there all right so bottom line the thickness of the wall here around the water jacket is um 200 and 
bring this in, is 272 thousandths. The bit for the kit uh, to be able to get deep enough into this, to be able to cut the threads deep enough, the bit alone is 578 thousandths, and then the OD on the thread tap is, um, is 634 thousandths. So after you uh, did everything, the new hole would get you down to 217 thousandths from 272 thousandths, the thickness um, from here to here. That would that would go down to um, two hundred and seventeen thousands, and then with the wall, uh, the threads cut in there, you'd be down, you know, to a hundred to a hundred and thirty five thousands. Um, you know that that this would be the threads would be you know cut that much into there now of course you're going to fill it with an insert but still the original material is going to be you know <laughs> paper thin so um really the only way to fix this properly is to you know put the uh, put the inserts way down in there and again if you've got um you know blown head gaskets on this thing uh, and it's got a lot of miles on it, just, just give it up, you know, unless it means that much to you, um, man, just give it up. By the time you look at all the hours, the gaskets, and while you're in there, you're going to start doing all these might as wells, and it's just not worth it. So, uh, that is my advice to you. You know, so I'll think about it uh, a little m more, but there's a pretty good chance I'm just going to cut my losses and uh, see what I can recoup on, on this and sell it for parts. You know, sell the whole thing, whole for parts. We know it's got a good set of heads, and I've got some, you know, most of a gasket set and some other stuff. So uh, that's probably what I'm going to do so um yeah. that's where we are right now